think I just found a Nami list that changes everything. Shout out to Lenore TCG for putting me on some Red Rock. Removal is the name of the game today, and you're going to be able to tell how this card specifically and some other options really flips the game in our favor, specifically against Big Mom and Nine Cost Sorrow, real MVPs being able to bottom deck them. Now, of course, Zeph comes through in big ways as well, but again, removal is king here. Let me know what you think of the deck list and if you want to see some more. Playing against some yellow with a new list. I like that we get to play some meta off the rip. Not with that hand, though. This is much better. Okay, perfect. Um, Hopefully they bust on that. Yeah, I would I would consider that largely a bust. Um, Let's deploy. Yeah, yellow is really going to be the plan here. So we can drop both of those. Uh, sorry, not yellow. Uh, Zeph is going to be the plan here. So it's good that we found that. Um, I think I'm wondering if we take this hit. I think I I think I do. Use that trigger. Drop that and then pass. And then what we can do is we can just use this and then pass. Next turn we can Zeph. Oh, OK. Uh, I think I'm just going to take this hit. Fantastic triggers, by the way. Right, and then we're just gonna play Zeph, bounce the Kaya trash. Not bad, three life, 27. You know, we're, we're taking a bunch of hits. I'm wondering if they just have a big mom in hand right now. Um, and that's what they're kind of forcing on us. But fortunately here, I have to kind of lose my Kaya to counter out of this, if I want to counter out of this. I think I kind of do, maybe not. Mm, I think I kind of do. Mm. Mm, resolve the hit. Oh yeah, free trigger. Use that trigger, bounce that. And then what we're going to do is one, two, three, four on this and then attack with Zeph. 10k. So that, that's going to force out three cards at least. No way. Eh? Okay. Okay. Um all right. They're just gonna let us take the card action there. That that's pretty good in my opinion. Alright, they're playing the category, which is fine. So we're at 10. We're gonna get them to bottom that. Right. Good time to be drawing red rock. Honestly, good time to be drawing red rock. Um I think we just play out the triple Kaya, honestly. Deploy. Um, we do want to be drawing some cards, so just want to use cards that mill at this point. Uh, we can drop those two because I'm just going to peel off. Draw cards. Drop. No! What did I just drop? Oh, I'm, okay, whatever. Um, so we're at nine cards. We're gonna we're gonna end the turn there. I think we can mill out a ton here if they big mom us. Yeah, so we can this this is GG. Uh, this is GG no matter how you swing it because I'm gonna be able to overpay. They can swing for one. Um, yeah. Okay. So our opponent like honestly we just we just ended up having some amazing triggers, but you can see how like a little bit of removal does help here because they would be swinging with the category if we weren't able to just bottom deck it. Um, so that's kind of pretty nice there and i think we can kind of win it here hold on two down to five two down a thing uh let's go uh trash that right then we go trash um probably just go trash this Right. Oh, OK. And they just gave it to us. OK. Yeah, <laughs> they were just able to counter out. But you can tell how just having that extra counter for that extra category was nice with the removal. So let's just hop into another game. Bit of an off meta pick. Activate once per turn for Dawn. Set up to one of your um, two type characters. Cost of fire less of active. Gains a short boost. Huh. OK. Um. All right, uh, I'll try this. I'll try this hand. Uh, we are first, so I'll pass. Uh, I mean, 
this deck should be playing a relatively low curve so the red rock might not be the most useful card but it doesn't mean that they won't play some high cost stuff so that's what we can and can't do here so I'll, I'll, uh, i'm a fan of this just having to pay multiple dawn for searcher here yeah yeah um and they grabbed another bonnie uh yeah attack that before we before we pass that opportunity up attack that there's no way you counter this out opponent stop stop it this can't be an actual consideration unless they're just like unless they're just like glitching out or something here let me let me just adjust where my counter is where my camera is just so it's above the text um okay yeah that's it um next turn we might just be able to like zeph pretty safely and then just like take a hit unless they play like rush sorrow that would be like the the big problem there but let's see what they do here uh they'll activate with one dawn here i like that this is a two dawn investment so they drew that mm, that is something to consider for next turn i can't just like raw play zeph here uh okay let's rearrange uh yeah let's start by placing cards on top let's return it that way and then we can mill one trash that yeah so they're probably just gonna play rush luffy on us here honestly it might just be worth bottoming like it might just be worth taking the hit it might be worth taking the hit Let's do it. Let's let's take the hit. Okay, I lost a peel off. That is really unfortunate, but okay. So they're gonna go to like six dawn here. They're gonna hit me twice. That's perfectly fine. We're, we'll get two triggers out. Um, we'll be able to zeph them a bit. We can bottom deck the um. We can bottom deck still hold up a rubber band. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. I uh, definitely use that trigger to bounce that. Yeah, no need for the double attack to come through. Don't need a lot of Dawn being attached to that. Yeah, they'll pay for Dawn. They can make it active again. No trigger on that. Unfortunate. So now we have some options, which I'm a fan of. So we know that. Okay, so the cards that we that we worked with, where was this? This is a 1k counter, right? Let's threaten this a bit. Right. Let's threaten that a bit. Okay. They let that die. Uh, we'll attack 7k into this. They're letting me use my card action. I think they might be a little new. There's no way you let me do that one. That for free. We're going to get a gavel. And then I think we're going to pass through just to maximize our dawn. We're probably going to go like 2 one, one. Yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know. I think this might be a newer player. There's no way you let me have that action for free. There's no way. Untapping untapping Rush Luffy, though, is uh, quite the play. They can't do that right now, though. They need nine total Dawn for that. Yeah, they need nine total Dawn for that. But we are managing to kill some things. And if they play anything super threatening, we can just bottom deck it. I kind of just want to bottom deck this kid. Like, 6k for double attack... And then they just like untap it for four, right? Like they attach two Dawn, four Dawn investment. Hey, yo, it's getting kind of crazy. And it gets a buff when they when they untap it. So I don't know. Um, happy to just use that here. I like I like this little bottom deck that we got now. I am a big fan of that bottom deck. Uh, we'll bottom deck this for sure. How do I want to play this turn? Probably attach here. Attack. 7k. You don't let me use that action again. There's no way. Like for free? For free. Yo. I've milled 14 cards with this Zeph. Holy. And I very well could lose this game. Green red. Very aggressive. 
But milling 14 cards for free is... Oh, Lord. Okay. Uh, this is where cards like Red Rock really change the game. This would actually be a game-ending card. And now I actually have the ability to counter it out. Um, that is crazy. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to actually bounce that so that prevents another attack from coming down this also makes it so i mean this isn't a counter so yeah this isn't a counter um and that's a great way to just like remove that and then now i can rubber band this attack yeah we can rubber band this attack unfortunate that would that'd actually be a good hit on this brook yeah the 3000 world is a good hit on this brook remember we're only playing two and two um, based on our current situation, so. Uh, so we're going to bottom that, that deck that regardless. Um, I think how we want to do this is let's go 5k on this. Because I don't, I don't think they'll let me swing into their lead with this blocker out. We'll just take some cards. I'm not playing Deathwinks in this list either, I believe. I don't believe I'm playing Deathwinks in this list. So one thing I could do is Kaya. Uh, yeah, let's attach one Dawn and swing into this. Sure. So that gets rid of that. Um, I think I don't really want a Kaya because then I can go Gavel, Gavel. Go down to thing here. Yeah. So both of my red rocks are gone. I believe. Oh, no. I still have one red rock. Okay. Uh, both of my 3,000 worlds are gone. That 3,000 world would have been real nice for this brook. But I would have just been able to go 6k, 6k. Um, honestly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 6k, 6k. But pretty good control so far. Honestly, I'm telling you, yo... For, for those of you longtime viewers of the channel, you know that I, like I was kind of promoting Red Rock for a hot minute and I may not play it now, but the cards the cards low key good in, in, in Nami. Honestly, you have the slots for it. It's real tough losing Deathwing for it, but a lot of people in 06 have been dropping Deathwing. I'm not sure if that's like properly the new wave, but it could very well be. Um, well, trash. That's really unfortunate. They can attach two Dawn. Unfortunately, I, I want to see how much they commit to this. Because unfortunately, this does not protect characters. So Gum Gum Gavel can't do exactly what I needed to do right now. And unfortunately, I lost a peel off off that mill uh, from the rubber band. So <sighs> yeah, I think I think they just got to swing into the Zaf. Yeah, that's a good call. Good call. Resolve. Um, fortunately, can't do anything about that. Uh, okay. Um, let's Kaya. Okay, let's Kaya again. Do we just keep going through our cards? I think we do. And then what what we can do is we can keep we can keep this as a way to just like kind of permanently provide a buff here. Then what I can do is maybe just attack into this because they can't restand. They can't restand Luffy, but it is a blocker have to kind of suit up here. I have to kind of suit up. They can block with this Luffy. And they still need a counter out. Just a bit. Okay, they don't want to block, which is interesting. Okay, we'll pass there. So forcing cards out of their hand, which is great. Definitely a, a more combat focused uh, game here. A more combat focused game, which I'm a fan of, but milling those 14 cards. Holy, I feel like if I just take all three hits here, I win. So let's see what happens. Definitely going to be drawing a card here, but Zef MVP here. Honestly, though, Zef MVP, but that removal also like we'd be in a in a vastly different place if it wasn't for that removal, like in a vastly, vastly different different spot right now. 
Let's see what happens from our opponent here. Alert box. Let's bring it over. Yeah. Where's my alert box? No. Stop it. The camera. Okay. Fixed spot with the camera. Okay. And that moves? Why though? Okay. I, I don't I don't understand why my why my uh, alert box will not move. Oh, okay. Like it's unlocked, but okay. All right. Um. Anyway, 5K. Uh, his opponent's definitely a little newer. That uh, there's no way. I, I don't know what you just did. <laughs> um. So let's resolve this attack. Oh, that's a trigger. That's a trigger. Um. You triggered a to put that at the bottom that that just completely negates an attack there which is nice that is a trigger we're probably just going to be taking a bunch of hits here i hope they activate some dawn i hope they activate some dawn because i want to take some hits sure no trigger kaya's uh you know that's that's the start to a win attack here maybe i should have just taken the hit honestly <laughs> they're thinking we're close they're thinking we're close maybe i should have just taken the hit here because i forgot this is a blocker um and they may think that you know based on like nami's ability they don't want me to swing in yeah oh but okay that peel off draw pretty much just confirms this game yeah I, when i say pretty much all right ggs g geez Whew. zeph op but removal you can tell how it's really really shining through right now hop it up against some yellow again honestly they choose to go first this hand isn't terrible um i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna keep this it's a it's a little weird but i'm actually gonna run this i have peel off next turn peel off hold up gavel um i get to i get to counter out a bunch here while drawing some cards and i think that has to be good enough so we're gonna use this just to draw a card perfect we found the zeph that we needed all right, and then we're going to be able to... Do we want to do that right now with this up? Definitely swing twice. We take a hit. Zeph is safe, but then reject hits it. But I'd rather reject hit that than anything. So, all right. Like, Zeph is safe from Gidatsu. That's the big thing. If I take a hit here, Zeph is safe from Gidatsu. So I can... Uh, uh, yeah, so no trigger. That's fine. And then we'll go do this then. Uh, we probably play Zeph next turn. So what do I really want to lose? Start by placing cards on top. I just want to draw that, honestly. What do they have for five? That's who comes down, no hits. I'm a fan, we'll deploy, bounce this. Okay, taking another hit here, probably. Unless we pitch the Kaya, we're taking another hit. But generally speaking, if they play anything big, seven cost, seven cost NL isn't is in a card played here, but it'd be really annoying. That that really is one of the more annoying cards, uh, considering if you're if you're playing Red Rock. So I'll pitch this, pitching Kaya's for counters, but I think I want to keep myself healthy here. I think I want to keep myself healthy here. Thirty cards for life, not bad. Did lose uh, a thing here. I don't want to save this red rock, but it could be big game here. Um, honestly, it could just be big game here. Swing six K at lead. Let's attach one Dawn attack here. They're going to untap to nine. It's not big mom. Do they counter out or do they just blank? They counter out with two cards three cards potentially if they only have one case which would be crazy but um yeah there you go okay one more perfect uh then what i can do is deploy this bounce this and then pass from there really a little unfortunate how our dawn is ending up here a lot of two cost stuff that's okay nine dawn double zeph Nine Dawn doubles F. They, I feel that they definitely have to hold up this Sanji. Um, 
and the three of their dawn is definitely going to go down to playing the prospero again because they're at nine dawn they're not at ten but double Zeph against yellow just seems absolutely insane. And then if I can if I can stay patient with this red rock, it bounces a big bomb, which is or like yeah, just bottoms, not even bounces. Uh, bottom decks a big bomb, which is absolutely massive. Um, and then still leaves me room for two K counters. Yeah. Uh, I think we definitely definitely save that. And then they can they can use another one of their swings to go into it. Um, so I've, I've blocked out two swings, which is big. Um, I think you definitely have to swing. I think you definitely have to swing 2k. Like you attach two Dawn at least, or you attach one and then you go to seven regardless. Okay. And they're going to swing into Zeph, which is fantastic. Let's see what they do with the top of my life here though. Cause they get that trigger regardless. It's just an on attack trigger. It doesn't have to attack lead. That's the funny thing about, about this game. You don't have to declare right then. So let that Zeph die. That's perfectly fine. You spend three Dawn to play Prospero. Four Dawn to play Kiku. I mean, you have Blocker anyway. Mm. Let's go four Dawn. Attack, uh, attack Gidatsu. This, this could force out counters um, out of their hand if they want to keep this alive. Sure. Beauty. Attach here. Attack one Dawn. That's what I mean, right? Like, just being able to freely eliminate um, cards, right? Because they have to be, like, worried. They're like, yo, do, do they have breakfast or or whatever? And, and that's kind of what I love about this. Uh, that's kind of what I really love about this. If they just start blank swinging, we know it's coming up. Um, and that's, that's where this red rock is going to pay off. But having this control in the game right now, we haven't lost 3000 either, uh, which is going to be really valuable for us Four life, 26 cards, not a bad place to be. There's, they're swinging deep in his F right now and swinging deep. Let's see what they end up doing. We did have to lose a love, love beam for no value. Uh, sure. Looks like they're swinging blank. Looks like they're swinging blank. Let's see what they end up doing here. We can kind of we can kind of trick them on some Dawn here. Like if they just play Big Mom here next turn, we can attach one Dawn, go into Kiku. They kind of it, it's kind of playing the mind game, right? Like how much Dawn? Like and we're not going to even play the red rock first right it's like how much dawn do you really invest into the kiku to save it and then what we can do is we can attach one dawn into zeph swing in then we red rock the big mom that they might play and so they're really thinking right now they're really really thinking right now how do they play this i, th I think i'm supposed to spot it here if they just blank sway well they can't really blank swing that's the thing i essentially put this out of reach for them if they big mom and do they want to spend more turns not big bombing? Because that just means you're playing out resources that you can't counter with uh, then on a future Zeph swing, which I love. So we're going to we're going to do this. Start by placing cards on top, honestly. Um, yeah, I actually really like this because if they play, oh, no, this is active three cost. In that case, I actually really like this. The breakfast as a future endeavor is not a bad draw. Yeah, breakfast as a future endeavor is not a bad draw. So we're just going to lose a card for free. Unfortunately, that's a great trigger. So again, play the mind games, right? So Kiko, yeah, you need one card out of your hand. Unless you want to just let that go. Perfect. Attach one done. Attack. Use the card action. Perfect. Uh, they have a trigger too. No. Okay. Well, we're gonna bottom deck that, and then just pass the turn from there. That's that's the beauty of of what we're able to do. Getting a free Zeph trigger in there is fantastic. If they swing into the Zeph, we just let it go. 
it got its value. Uh, we're at 17 cards, three life. That's a really great price to be. And then they swing with this Kiku. And then I probably swing into it, honestly. Let that resolve. That's fine. Does that mean that just means they're not playing Big Mom this turn? They could play seven cost mom as an option. They could play one Dawn, swing in for a seven, seven cost mom, blah, blah, blah. But I can counter that out with the Love Love Beam redraw. Yep. Top my point. What do they do with the last life? They moved it to the bottom. I can't remember what they did with the last life. They moved it to the bottom. So I got decent triggers, I guess, coming up. Ooh, that's another great draw, actually. Uh, grant you some life. Hundo P. That's where I want to be. Um, I'm going to stay... Mm, let's see here. How do I want to use on my Dawn? This is an 8 Dawn investment. Um... I think what I do is I attack here. Right? Because th this on KO ability doesn't really matter to me at all. Yeah. Um, and then what we can do is place this at the bottom. Bounce this to your hand. And the turn, just create insane tempo. And the next turn, um, based on how they attack, I can just gavel. <laughs> they are mad. They are mad. Look at the wow. <laughs> the tempo is absolutely insane. I am controlling this board. I am I am controlling this board. On the top of your life. So they you may put the top or bottom card of your life into your hand, put one card from your hand on top. Yeah, so they're just kind of rearranging their life. Yep. Getting some uh potentially some better cards, some better triggers. Um I may actually not want to swing at their lead anymore uh depending on how the triggers go unless it's my last trigger i may, I may not actually want to do it anymore but uh let's see what happens let's see what happens from our opponent let's see what happens from our opponent they're, they're deep in thought right now bottoming a bunch of things kiku coming down prospero coming down that is perfectly fine um i'm not swinging at all I will just leave my Dawn up. I'm at 14 cards, three life. Um, once I start getting lower than that, it's gonna start getting start getting real fun. If I can get like any draw two triggers, so both my red rocks are gone. Um, I haven't lost a single three thousand actually. Now that I think about it, okay for free. Yeah, at this point, I don't want those cards. That can't be too bad. So I think what we're going to do, maybe drop the overheat and one of these rubber bands, because this draws me a card. This is a 4K counter, though. So it might be important to this board, but I may actually just want to take hits, honestly. Honestly, I may just want to take hits. Let's see how they develop here. Is drawing and going finding two kayas there really powerful we can get through three cards in our hand based on this maybe maybe more the white snake is a blank card um i could be getting through four cards leaving me at five draw one go to four it might be best just to take hits honestly might be best just to take hits yeah um yeah okay it is yeah taking hits uh that's gg that's the game right there because we redraw one to six, two, two, we're down to two cards. Like you telling me, you tell me I can't draw more cards. Like take a hit. Uh, that's that's game. Ne yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Removal is absolute king. I, yo, I may actually have to change up my Nami list. Lenore might be onto something here. Lenore might be onto something here. This is I don't know. Again biased like you know small sample size small really really small sample size here but definitely definitely onto something here potentially trash cards trash cards and then let's just win with the new opo6 card let's do it all right that's gg let me know in the comment section down below if you want to see more removal heavy uh nami builds definitely definitely came in handy here